another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of uh, 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, this is the second part of, uh, I'm sorry, second part of Quick Hits. Um, we're going to do two a day. This is the second one of the day. Uh, both uh, both topics today were on, um, I'm having trouble. Jazz it, it's late. <laughs> it's late here in Texas. It's already 1.30 in the morning. Uh, the first part was on Jazz at Dickens uh, and Kid Galahad, uh, why I think Jazz at Dickens is going to win. I went back and I rewatched the first fight that they had back in 2012. Uh, and I'm now more convinced than ever that Jazz at Dickens is going to win. Uh, that they're going back to the first fight. It was a really good fight. I didn't realize how good the first fight was. Really, really even. Um, I had... I had it, and so did, um, I think Johnny Nelson scored the fight wherever it was on, Sky or whatever it was on. Um, after uh, nine rounds, um, it was five rounds to four, but then uh, Galahad had a point deducted, a really odd point deducted uh, for holding and hitting, I believe. Uh, so I had it five to four, but with the point deduction, I had it even going into the tenth, and that's when Galahad uh, landed the huge shot um through the early rounds um jazza was was boxing well he was actually doing his best work Uh, Dickens is vastly improved. Galahad is sharper, but that's about it. Right? It's still very much the same. It's just a better version of the same fighter, I, I would say. Um, whereas Dickens is vastly improved. His footwork is better. His ability to make fighters misses, be misses better. He uh, throws his jab more. And he goes to the body more. He does a lot of things better. Uh and this was seven, eight years ago. Uh, it was in 2012. Galahad basically just has fine-tuned what he does good and, and is better at it. Um, it was I. It was 3-2 uh, I, I had it. And in the sixth round is when Galahad really started to, I, I thought, had his best round. Won the round clearly. Started um, you know, using the middle of the ring, boxing him well, giving him different angles. But then Jazza got back in the aggressiveness that wasn't working for him in the 7th and 8th. really worked for him in the 7th and 8th. Um, and I had it even. I had Jazza taking the 7th and 8th, which made it 4-4. Four, four. And then um, you can see, like I said, I had it even on the cards, right? Like my card was, 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 was even. Uh, but you could see that Jazza was starting to fade. He was 22. It was his first scheduled 12 round. He had never been that long in a fight before. Uh, Galahad had. And you can see that he was, although maybe not winning on the cards, maybe the, the battle was even, but Galahad was winning the, the war. He had a big round in the ninth, 
and then he dropped him and finished him in the 10th. Um, so what do they need to do? What do they need to do differently? What do they need to do the same? Um, we'll start with Galahad, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm picking uh, Jazz to win, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm more confident of that pick than ever. If I went back and I watched, uh, again, I watched those two fights, uh, the, the last two fights of the Golden Contract, and I watched the you know, the Galahad Dickens fight. I, I'm convinced now that Dickens has proved enough to last for 12 rounds and win this fight. Um, it was very close to the first fight. He faded, Dickens faded, and Galahad took advantage of it. And kudos to Galahad. Um, but it was a very close fight. It wasn't Galahad was beating him up. Galahad was, was, you know, seemed to have the momentum, but it was a very close fight. And then he, he Dickens ran out of steam. Um, so what does Galahad have to do? Um, Galahad has to... Uh, we, we, he has to. Win, I'm sorry. Galahad has to win the battle of the jabs. He's got to set this. If, if, if like in the first half of the first fight, the jab, the battle of the jab was pretty even. Galahad couldn't pull ahead. He's got to win the battle of the jab. He's got to dictate the landscape and the distance. He's got to give him different angles. He's got to keep Jazza uncomfortable and make Jazza swing wild. Jazza was swinging wild a lot in the first fight. Uh, when he does that, he, he and, and Galahad is sharper now. So he needs to make him pay. When, when, when Jazza comes in throwing wild shots, uh, Galahad has to sidestep him, slip him, and make him pay. He has to – because a lot of times in the first fight he was missing. Um, when Galahad was coming in wild, coming with big shots, Galahad was slipping him, but he was missing in return, um, which is going to be interesting because Jazza is much better defensively now. He's much more responsible with his footwork. He doesn't leave himself in position to be hit as much as he did seven, eight years ago. Jazza is vastly improved. Um, he's got, and then the last thing I would say is Gal has got to throw punches straight down the pipe. Keep everything straight and simple. Uh, you know, like I said, control the landscape, throw everything down the middle, and win the battle of the jabs. As for Jazza, he just has he has to improve his gas tank, which I think he has. Um, he's looked sharp later in fights, and his, his last couple fights, granted, those guys aren't as good as Galahad, uh, but he's got to go down to the body, and he's got to slow down Galahad. Um, he's got to try to beat him down. He's got to muscle him up, um, and I, I'd say beat him down. Um, I would say he's got to fight an inside-outside fight because he can do that. Um, in the first fight, he was boxing him well from the outside. But he's got to be sharper uh, on the inside. He's got to get to the body. He's got to use that left hook, the lead left hook, um, that he used so well uh, against Walsh. He's got to lead with that, and he's got to uh, use that to get inside and start cracking him to the body, and wearing him down, slowing him down, making him stationary uh, so that he can win the later rounds and, and win a decision. But after watching this, I'm completely convinced now that Dick is – is going to win this fight. I haven't looked at what the odds are uh, for this fight, but I, I think Dick is, is, is a good bet to win this fight straight out. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Also, leave your predictions. Again, um, this is quick hits. We're going to be doing two shows a day, um, so that's what you're looking for. Um, that's the kind of the amount of content that you're looking for. Um, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, it is February. Well, it's February sixth now, two thousand twenty-one. Um, Ivan Calderon, Iron Boy, is still not in the Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get Ivan Calderon into the Boxing Hall of Fame class of twenty twenty-one uh, from Texas. Follow me on all forms of social media: three D boxing, three D boxing blog. Like I said, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.